Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about Google Search Console, why you would use it, and what you can find um, in Google Search Console. So if you go to Google and you have Google Analytics installed um, on your website or blog, um, if you click on Google Search Console, what this actually is, is a webmaster tool. If you own a blog or a website, you are a webmaster. Um, Google Search Console also needs to be known as Webmaster Tools or Google Webmaster Tools. So if you go ahead and click on that, um, just go ahead and click now uh, or start now, and you should be able to access Google Search Console. You might have to set up a few things. It should be fairly uh, intuitive. And what this will allow you to do is actually see information that Google is saying, hey, um, this is how we're indexing your website, so meaning how they're serving up your site and seeing your site. And that's really important because Google is one of the, actually is the top um, search tool out there. And so you wanna be quote unquote, looking great in the eyes of Google. And so if you want, wanted to see the information that Google has on you, um, then you can use Google Search Console. If you go um, to, let's see here, performance on the left panel, um, you'll be able to look at the data um, that they have. All this data it is what I'm told is that they use it to create the algorithm that basically says if I go search for homemade garlic bread recipe, right, as an example, um, it determines what websites start um, showing up at the top of the list. You'll know that most people don't scroll the way down and don't typically go to the first or second page. Typically the first uh, top three are the most clicked on sites. And so what you wanna be able to do is for whatever term that you're ranking for, you wanna be in the top three. Everyone knows that, but the beauty of the Google Search Console is it tells you what people are actually and how they're finding you. And so if you go and you look um, at your Google Search Console and you're saying, hey, um, why am I ranking for this? Go take a look at your content and, and, and see. And basically, Google Search Console will allow you to do that. So here I am. I'm going to show you my own. Um, I'm going to kind of pull it back to like the last 16 months, okay? And all I did was I went to performance on the left. And you can see that I'm trending up on like um, the impressions that I'm getting in search, okay? I've not always been this great, as you can see. So um, it's been increasing throughout the years and um, based on like the algorithm changes from Google, like Google has just released another algorithm change last um, month or actually last week. And um, some of the, the data changes and what that means is like when they, when they change the search algorithm, that means that like if you were ranking at the top for this um, homemade garlic bread recipe at the very top, it might be that the algorithm made it now become like the ninth one. And so you just gotta be uh, cognizant of it, but you shouldn't actually action on it because you should just be writing good content. The The beauty and the, um, the awesomeness of the Google Search Console is it tells you how people are getting to your site. So for example, it sucks that right now, um, one of my top posts that's bringing traffic to my site is this homemade garlic bread uh, recipe with regular bread. Like this is literally the search console. Uh, this is literally the search that people are using. So you can see that every time, like it's people have searched over 4,200 times. And of those 4,200 times when I'm being served up in the search results, it's being clicked on at um, 428 times. So that's how I'm driving traffic. So in my head, I'm a blogger, right? And so my goal is to get traffic to the site and I make money through ad revenue. And so this is great for ad re revenue, right? But from a strategic perspective, like do I want to be known for product bread recipes? Not really. So um, the fact that I have multiple revenue streams allows me to be okay with this, right? So for example, on this one, how to hang string lights with patio, uh, a covered patio, I have over 3,800 impressions and there are 289 clicks to my um, website of those. And so if I were um, someone who is trying to optimize for that post, if you actually click on it, it'll tell you like what, um, let's see here, on pages, it'll tell you what blog post it goes to. Now, in this scenario, this blog post actually makes money via affiliate income because I um, 
create an affiliate link to my uh, my lights, the stream lights that I write about, right? And it also uh, creates revenue via ads. And so if I wanted to optimize for it and my goal was to increase the number of clicks over for ad revenue and for affiliate sales, what I would actually do is if I go to queries real quick, uh, I am gonna click on incognito window. So um, when you do incognito window, what that allows you to do is search in um, a browser and it removes all the cookies and stuff because with Google, they're trying to personalize the experience so they drop a cookie into your browser and based on your browsing history and your locality, they'll try to create the search page that's specific to you. When you go into incognito, it removes all of that so that you can at least see what a um, what a, a visitor who isn't you would, look, would see. So if I search for how to hang string lights on covered patio, here's what I would recommend optimizing, right? So if I'm looking at this and I see, um, actually these images are images, I believe of my house. Yeah, these are of my house. So if I'm optimizing this, right, to try to get more clicks, what I would actually do is potentially figure out from a copy perspective, like how I could change these words so that it makes people click on it. Okay, so using words, using marketing uh, to basically make it so that people want to click on this link. All right, one of the things that we could um, potentially do is you see how like this popped up right here. This is what they call a rich card. Rich cards are like little um, schema tags and I use the word schema and I know some of you guys don't know what that means but like there's functionality in which you can embed things in here and it will allow you to kind of stand out a little bit more so if I look up um not Barack Obama like these are rich cards this is a rich card right and so um there's plenty of ways to create a rich card so I could potentially knowing that this is one of my higher um viewed pages i could create a rich card for it using like i think there's um, a media vine create widget that i can create like a instructable and it would probably pop up a little box that shows you how to um, hang string lights on a covered patio but overall um, the goal here would be to change what we call a meta description here and change the page title to make it uh, more quote unquote clickable and there's uh, certain like power words that you can use and uh, certain phrases that you can use to get basically clickbait, so get getting people to actually click on that. I hope that kind of gives you guys some insight on basically how you can find out what people are searching for to find your site and also how to optimize um, your uh, search engine results page. And that's called SERP. So this is a SERP. So how you can optimize the title and the description in order to make it um, more clickable. If you guys have any questions on Google Search Console, let me know. Otherwise, thank you.